Oh, yeah, baby. We are back. We had a good break. Had about back a- from Christmas break. That's right. We had a great break. Had Christmas. Some, now we're back on top of it. <laughs> Holiday break. Excuse me. What? Did y'all have a good one? Y'all had a great one? I had a good We're talking one. about holiday. We've already done two shows since Christmas. I don't know what Scott's talking about. I was just following <laughs> up for some reason. I, I don't, I, 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 this is our winter break. Oh, yeah. No, this is the here. break because y'all had unfortunate circumstances happen, and that's what this is. But no, we anyway, didn't. we're not going to go down that road. Yeah. But now we're back. Doesn't matter. We're back. Yeah. Uh, we're deep in season two. Uh, hopefully you've been watching season one, keeping up with it. Hope you enjoy it. That's the main thing. Hope you like it. Hope and and if not, give us the pointers. We are open for whatever. You, you don't like something, give us to. It. Hey, do this, Chris. Stop slumping it over, Scott. Stop wearing <laughs> such tight jackets. That would be my pointer to you. Anyway, this is a pullover, not a jacket. Oh, it's a fleece. Excuse me. <laughs> it's, it's a fancy fleece. now. It's- you were stealing people's valor last uh, episode. I think Scott and I are both uh, wearing fleeces tonight. Yeah, I ain't pullovers. If I if I were to skirt by y'all really fast, I'd get a bunch of static electricity and start yeah. a fire. Yeah, your your hair would <laughs> your hair would stand yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, that's what would happen. Yeah. So that, we, we can see you skirting by us real fast. Yeah. <laughs> when, when's the last time you scooted by anything really fast? <laughs> it's been a while, Trey. I've had to uh, make up methods now to scoot by people. <laughs> yeah, you remember those days you could just scoot by anybody? Now you got to take a couple of deep breaths, <laughs> get on your tippy toes, and oh, <laughs> don't let my let belly just, touch this man's let, back. Let me just scoot you on by you real quick. Yeah. Let me put my belly get, on your back. Get on what kind of toes? My stimpy, uh, <laughs> my skippy toes. Skimpy toes. Yeah. Because all Kip, the, the fat toes. went from my toes to, to my belly. Now I got skimpy toes. Okay. Yeah. That's what's going on. All right. We got it. Um, yeah. Suddenly I feel awkward. Like got, <laughs> Trey's third wheel. I should, be, I should play some music again. <laughs> anyway, tonight on guillotines and guitars. What are our topics, Chris? Guillotines. We are talking about Jack the Ripper. Jack. The Ripper. The infamous Jack the Ripper. Yes. 1888 Eight. yep. was when the killing spree started. Yep. Well, well, don't give away everything. Yeah, yet. yeah, he's just going to... All the time. <laughs> all the time. No, I'm just... I'm just I got you. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. I got you, but, but I could sense that you were getting ready to go and and go ahead, go all in and well, here's what I read yesterday and here's what I heard last week. Yeah. And on guitars, we're talking about Robert Johnson the third. He got it right. You got it's a not a third. It's just Robert Johnson. <laughs> but uh, he, he's an old-timey guitar player, and he um, they portrayed him in Old Brother Wild Thou, if you've seen that movie. But, hey, he's been portrayed in, I think, a couple movies. Oh, yeah. Trey portrays him all the time. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're talking about tonight. So um, right, when, <clears throat> when you see this, give us your <laughs> answers, what you think. Give your opinions. We like to read them. <laughs> I'm rusty, man. I know. I'm well, rusty. <laughs> it's been a little while. I just I wanted you keep looking at that camera while we're just chatting, like, <laughs> like. Oh my God! <laughs> you don't I'm have to. doing that. I am. I just. I'm glad you caught that because hey, he keeps things. I lives. haven't took my eye off that camera. I know. I know. When, when I was talking, you were like. <laughs> I you bet people's like, like, you, people like, God, he's looking at me still. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because no, see, what people don't know is that, so I'm back here, I'm doing all the camera switching live when we're recording these shows, so, I'm, so I, I have a monitor here beside me that shows all four cameras, and another monitor that shows what's called the program, so I know exactly what everything looks like, and I keep seeing Chris, see, Chris. He's, he's looking at the camera right now, but I don't even have the camera on him, but here, I'll turn it on, now he's looking, <laughs> so... <laughs> So that whole first couple of minutes, Chris is looking at only his camera. He's not looking at me or Scott. He's just looking at his camera. So I'm purposely switching away from him. Yeah. So I just want to let I'm you know that. You, I'm glad you did catch that because I took my eye off that camera. <laughs> oh, I know. So that for like the next when I, hour. When I said something, you, you cut your eyes at me. Like, <laughs> 
Go ahead, Scott. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad y'all caught that, though. I, I just I don't feel like an idiot. I'm just looking out for you, so I'm letting I you know what's going that, on. Because I, if you had said that the whole show, no, I'd like, have been. <laughs> I know. Feeling I've been one on one with the people. <laughs> feeling don't have anything to do with it, Chris. You are. That's good. <laughs> well, anyway, that's what we're talking about tonight. So, did Trey bring some shots tonight? Did I? Did he ever? Let's find out when you spin the coin. Oh, let's yeah. spin the coin. See, I can see him rusty, man. Gotta I know you're rusty. Some... Chris, it's been a while since you spun right. the coin. Oh, I get to spin the coin. You want to spin it or flip it or whatever you want to do. I'll spin it. Spin it. Spin All right, it. drum roll, please. Here we go. We're going to spin that coin. No drum roll. That thing will go forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guillotines. Guillotines. Yeah. I was hoping we was going to talk about Jack Ripper. And now, gentlemen at the table in the G&G studio, I'm going to give you the option again, just like I did, I believe it was the last time. I have... Two sets of shots, one in each hand, because I have two hands and one one in each hand. He has I have, two hands, I have, one in each hand. <laughs> I have this shot in this hand and this shot in this hand. And Scott, <laughs> Chris got to choose last time, so I'm going to let you choose my left hand or my right hand. Well, I think since it was known that Jack the Ripper was right-handed, let's Ooh, go with I like that. that. We're going with the right hand. Well, good, because... Yep. I'm I'm left-handed, which excludes me. I am not Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> and in the right hand, Chris, you're gonna like this one. This is the buttery nipple, and ah, again right. by our favorite twisted shots. Twisted. There we go. Twisted this is shots. The, the, but this is the chocolate buttery nipple. Oh, oh this is a, a twist. Up. A twist on the twisted. Ah, twist on the well, twisted. Well, it is Valentine's Day. You figure they throw some chocolate in there sometimes. No, they yeah. do this all year. Chocolate on the nipples. Oh yeah, Look there. Look at here. A little darker. Color. Why are you trying to shake it up? <laughs> you can shake he's it. A, there. a, he's a, there's a divider in there. I know, but you can still <laughs> look at there. Look at there. He so, done messed his how, shot up. No, he done messed his shot up. Oh, that's great. Hey, you know this reminds me of. Do uh, you remember a drink called the cement mixer? It was back in the <laughs> damn, <laughs> pretty straightforward. Yeah, not really. It was uh, it was back in the day. I don't know if they still do them anymore. I don't remember what was in it. I think it was. <coughs> excuse me. I think Take it was like the a, shot sink you straight to the ocean. <laughs> no, listen. I think it was like a white Russian. I think, but it had something else in it. And when you would was uh, it salt, you, salty taste. No, no. Listen, no. It, it tasted good, but I remember it, it was. Uh, but it reminded me <laughs> of a white what? Russian. But when you when you took the shot, it got it got <laughs> thicker in your mouth. <laughs> like cement, yes. People listening know what I'm talking about. It was called a cement mixer. Oh, oh okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm thinking something different. So you said cement. Hey, what you oh think? my god! <laughs> he thought you were saying. I thought you were saying oh, cement. You thought I was talking about Chris's cruise? No. <laughs> no, I, I did. Because I was like, that's why I was saying was it was salty. You were like, whenever it gets thicker in your mouth, I was like. It's just that's the same thing. <laughs> okay, so cement. Cement, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I yeah. Let's <laughs> let's use our our consonants. People. I, I try cement. to use I try to use my radio voice and talk as articulate okay. as I can, but I'm, apparently I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm apparently I'm, I confuse Scott when I say me cement, <laughs> and I should all should not say semen mixer. <laughs> semen. <laughs> I swear that's what I thought you said. <laughs> no, that's cement. That's why I was wondering. I was like, where is this going? I don't know, but can we stop talking about <laughs> yeah. it? Let's do it. Okay, I'm sorry. Cheers. Right, Cheers. Here we go. That Fireball. son of a gun had some booze in it, buddy. Yes, it Ooh. did, John. That's a good drink. <laughs> yeah, it is. John knows the booze on him. He knows the booze. All right. Jack Ooh. the Ripper. So, <laughs> straight to his iPad. <laughs> From 1888 to 1891, he terrorized London, and you know uh, they never found him. No, nope. just like well, the, they, uh, you know, they never, never identified him. Well, yeah, and he was never held accountable. Right. So this cat will just, you know. Walk around and he targeted prostitutes, of course. Yep, it was on the, the east end of London. That's like Hartsfield. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. But yeah, and this was at the time when it was, you know, it it was everything was running rampant as far as you know destitution and all that, and actually women prostituted herself to provide for their family. You know, it so wasn't that was just like, like a job. Yeah, well, I mean, because it, it was so bad they couldn't get jobs. Baby, how was work like, today? It was. I'm tired. I'm gonna go out and <laughs> prostitute myself to get money to help pay for my family, and and so you could imagine that type of environment where, <clears throat> where everything was happening. It was so. It was. You know, I mean, the cops patrolled the area, but it wasn't like you know, it wasn't like the West End. The West End was where the Queen was, and you know that that was the high society part of town so that was where you live at but no well i don't live in london well you got chuck at the gate but i anyway <laughs> <laughs> you, you got a gate on your i can't come in your yard a gate that's locked so i got you gate. live on the west end i'm on the east end <laughs> i'm gonna get jack the ripper up i guess <laughs> i'm gonna get jack the ripper up <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Jack the Ripper. All there right. We are. So yeah, he he mainly targeted prostitutes because they were out late at night, you know, looking to make some money, and that was the ones that he hit up. But it's, I mean, it. I think there was like eleven or twelve women total. But I think only five or six were credited to Jack the Ripper. Well, it's the things he did to them. They thought it, they thought it was a he was a medical person. Well, and that's that's the thing <clears throat> is that they thought um, the way he disavowed like said, them was it, kind of professional, like he knew where to cut and what. Well, you you had well, that's the thing is you had um, you you had some doctors. Who, I think some doctors testified that. This had to be somebody who was knowledgeable in the medical profession because he knew how to cut out the organs. Yeah. But then you had other doctors who testified who said this was nothing more than somebody going in and just hacking, hacking, going wild, cutting out things. Said he was no better than a butcher, like on a dead animal. So, I mean, it's... You had two two sides, you know, going at. I mean, I guess, I guess there's a lot, lot lot that goes on like today, the same way. How you you have two sides of a story, you know. So who do you believe? And back in those days, you didn't have um, the forensics like you had now with DNA and all. Somebody could do something like that and be gone. Yeah, I mean, there no cameras and no nothing. Yeah, had <clears throat> you no can get cameras, away with pretty much anything nothing. back in the day. Well, I don't know if you. Well, most people probably could because they could do it and be gone. And just think about like, but like back in that day, if somebody suspected you of it, they could they would arrest you, and you'd have been it. You know, just because someone would suspect you, you know. And that actually happened. I think. That five, damn Scott Barfield, five. he's a weird looking dude, man. I think he did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that reminds me a lot like uh, back in the, the days of the witches when they would just say that this person is, uh, they did something that isn't right. And, or they look like a witch, or they yeah. were pretty sure they're a witch. So they just said, okay, yeah, they're yeah, a witch. And back in those days, I think all it took was like a clergy person or something to say, yeah. 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 And there was nothing you, else you could do. Nothing. It'd be like, that's it. Yeah. You know? All I yeah. can think of is, um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, they're just <laughs> they're um, when they talk about the witch. You ever seen that part? Mm-mm. I had never I seen remember. this movie. I, Monty you, Python. You ever watched Monty Python? Monty Python. This is way better I than saw Studio Indiana 666. Jones. No, no, no. This is no. this is better. <laughs> and the Holy Grail. <laughs> I mean, this is something similar. It's similar? Not a, well, no, not at all. Because the Holy Knight was, he was guarding the, the Grail. Holy, it's the Holy Grail. Is is Monty Python? The Monty Python. Is he a snake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. 
Anyway, <laughs> I, I don't mind. I've never seen Monty, this. Monty, I've never seen this TV show. Monty Python was a. Well, it wasn't just a TV show. It was a Monty Python was a was a was a whole group of comedians that were together, and they and they had this group, and they called themselves Monty Python. Uh, John Cleese, you know who John Cleese is. Mm-mm. All right, you, you you've seen John Cleese. <laughs> he's he's seen parts of Monty Python. He just doesn't realize that that's who it was. But anyway, yeah. in the in the Holy Grail, they talk yeah, about the there's a Monty se, there's Python a segment was from the. 60s, wasn't it? It's 70s. 70s, early. early 70s. But in the Holy Grail, they had, um, uh, there, there's a segment where King Arthur is coming along and he's, he's trying to find people to go with him. And he doesn't ride a horse. He just uh, has his hand up like he's riding a horse and he just does like this. He just bounces up and down. But there's a guy behind him with uh, a, a pair of empty coconut halves and he's going <laughs> making the hoof sounds. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> But so they get to this part where there's a, I think he's like a priest, <clears throat> and he's talking to these people, and all these, all these, this group of people come up and go, "There's, we have a witch, we have a witch, you know, we're going to burn her." And he says, "Well, how do you know she's a witch?" And one of them says, "She looks like one." <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> so point. Point. There's, there's a whole lot more. There's a whole lot more to that, and I could go on, but I won't. But. Yeah, but Monty Python was actually very. It, I don't think Monty Python could be made today. Because some of the stuff, no, yeah, not, it would not be PC, yeah, in the PC world we live in, it would be, it'd be hard to make something like that. You couldn't make it; it, it would be shunned. Yeah, <laughs> imagine up, that frowned upon. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Sorry, I went off the, I no, went off the rails good. on that, but um, I suggest you. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm 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 take a look at that when I get to the house tonight. <laughs> but you know, on the streets in the middle of the night, getting snatched up. Carved up, and nobody knows about it. Except and, when I they mean, found he, the body, it, it was brutal the way he. Yeah, he would do too. thing, other things, you know. And I mean, I think he, like most of them, he would, he would slash their neck all the way through their spine. I mean, yep, just cut it open, and he would dig into their abdomen and yep, take the giblets uh, out, <laughs> uterus. I mean, he, yeah. he would take like take it out. I mean. Yeah. It was it was gruesome. I mean, and for back then, I'd imagine probably was you know, it was. Could, could you imagine hearing something like that? You, you you wake up next morning and hearing that something just happened to some woman, like next door to you, and you like. I mean, it would be it would it would freak you out. I'd imagine as it. it well, it, you know, I'm sitting here thinking that there was a, women were different back then. Now, if, now, if Jack the Ripper would have got a hold of the wonderful whites of West Virginia, one of them women, <laughs> he, his, ass, his ass would have had a hard time. <laughs> he might have got ripped up. <laughs> and then <laughs> had to do that from me. Yeah. Hey, give me that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you trying to do? Right, come here. <laughs> come here, boy. Let me show you how to use that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> yeah. So, so was uh, so Jack the Ripper was never identified, never or identified, never found. Or he was a- apparently yep. after nineteen uh, eighteen ninety one, it stopped. So either he died, quit, or just decided to stop. Just you know, eighteen ninety one. Yeah. Well, that I makes think, yeah. No, it, he and, and like I said, I think there was there was a eleven murders. Total, total, but it was um, there was only five that were all the same. You know that were that they said these were definitely and so back, done by the same person. But you back, had other people who said, "Well, this one could have been done by him." So, you know, but it, there was only five that were were so like disemboweled, and and they were sure that there, that one of these wasn't a copycat. Well, and that, that's because that were, happened. That happened a lot with a lot of serial a lot. killers, and that's what they were saying. That, and that's what a lot of people think with like the other six, um, or like they they might, might have been copycats. Yeah, you know, because it wasn't the same same thing. You know, most of them were, were that he would he would when he would kill them, he would make two incisions on their neck. I think all the way down to their, you know, the spine or you know. The back of the vertebrae, the neck, you know, and then he would gash them open and just mutilate the body. But um, Ooh. you know a lot about this. 
I, I did a lot of reading about it because I it intrigued some, me. Some of yeah. us do some research. Yeah. But um and it was I, I think after the first one the 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 second one that was on the sidewalk. Um I mean and he used to like take this the kidney out and certain organs of the body and like lay them up next to their head. I mean, and place them certain places. Yeah, a little like a fruit basket. <laughs> like a fruit basket. That's what he was. Yeah. I believe that's what he, he was trying to parse out. Good. Like, uh, Peter Gabriel in his uh, sledgehammer yeah. video. When he yeah. got the fruit but I think what did the, the third and fourth. What does a turkey one, got around it? The, Just giblets. Uh, giblets. <laughs> Neck. Got all kinds. Of, that's what he was trying to do, right? Neck bones. He was he was making a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> he wasn't doing that shit to Wanda from West Virginia. Mm-mm. No, he wasn't doing it. Mm-mm. But I, I I think the the third and fourth ones were done on the same night. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? I think. I I don't know. I I did a little bit of research, but you've you've already touched on the, the little points. I, that I, I had. think uh, there was two women that were killed on the same night, and they think that it it was because the first woman that they found, um. She had a like a stab wound in her neck, but that was it. And they they think it was because somebody came up and scared him away, mm-hmm. where he couldn't finish what he wanted to do. So and he left, and less than I think a mile away, um, I guess because he didn't get to do what he wanted to do to her, you know, as far as flare up or whatever, <laughs> that he was, you know gonna go do it with somebody else so there was another woman found you know an hour later less than a mile away that he actually did everything did everything to and so they attribute both of those to him and they say because you know, because the the first one of that night didn't pan out didn't pan well it didn't it wasn't his you know what he usually does to women but they they were they thinking that something scared him. Off. She was probably too tough or something. Well, like, either that or or somebody like was, the turkey's or, dry or somebody was coming up. Just or throw he, that turkey away. <laughs> or he heard somebody coming up or something, so he had to leave. You know, but she ended up. She, you know, she was dead anyway. But and so he went on and did it to somebody else. So that was the first time that's two victims in one night. Yep. It, well, that was the only time. But yeah, it was. It was yeah. That was. T- two women in one night, and but then the last one was done in a a woman's room, a prostitute's room. But that's the one they said took the longest because it was like it, it, they said it had to take like an hour, two hours for him to do what he did because I mean he, she was unrecognizable when they went in the room. Wow. Yeah, like he cut her face all up. I mean cut into her cheekbones. Well, he did have that nickname Leather Apron. Well, that was <clears throat> I'm that, looking at a I'm looking at a photo right now of the one I believe it's the one that you're talking about. And I didn't even think it, I thought it was just a drawing at first until I blew it up for a full screen and then wow, that's um that's yeah, not what it, I, it, <laughs> not it, what I it, expected. Look, it looks it looks um that's that's it, like a that's a um like a dissection in a biology class. I mean, like, like you said, it, this was like a surgical procedure. Yeah, like and, and you actually had all over the know, all over the body from between the yeah. legs to the face. Uh, yeah, and all the way. I, I'm talking about you know, and you know, not to get graphical, but yeah, like he took the uterus out of several of these women that he, that he killed. I mean, yeah, cut cut it out. You know, yeah, it's like he, he was doing uh, he was doing procedures. And, like and, several and, different op- operating and, and th- operations that's what, to you a had person. you had some medical professions who testified and said this had to be the work of somebody who was trained in yeah. the medical profession knew what they were going to, knew after what, knew what they were knew what they were doing how to cut up a body and yeah. take out certain organs Oof. and but then the one um, the one doctor who his testimony that they went with and, and stuck said this looked no more like um than a hack job a hack job like like so he and this was a well-renowned doctor too and he said i wouldn't even say he was worthy of like a butcher cutting up a dead animal 
Yeah. And you know, and he said it looked to him it was just so, going in, just so some sometimes cutting. it was it was methodical, it was planned out, sometimes it was just Yeah, so I mean who who knows? But I mean back in those days, you know, I mean because you you don't have forensic science like you do now where you can tell things, you know, and like now right. we have cameras everywhere where you can right. catch I mean back in those days it was easy to do something like that and get away with stuff but i mean I, I think you know there's been several stories written about some of the guys that they questioned and took into custody you know and let them go because they didn't have enough evidence but yeah. there's been several several stories written about two or three of the guys who they say was jack the ripper but you know what <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of conspiracy theories around Jack the Ripper. And I'm going to tell you one that I thought of myself. And then I, I had to look it up online because I said, there's no way that I'm the only person that had thought of it in this way. So I looked it up. Here's what I come up with. When I was, I was, I was driving and I was thinking about Jack the Ripper. There's a phrase I never thought I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm driving. I'm thinking about it's probably Jack one the of Ripper. them long nights home from the beach after yeah. playing and going no. down in back roads. <laughs> no, it was actually coming home from driving my daughter off at school. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but in context, I'm thinking about the show and I'm thinking about you know what I what I remember the stories of Jack the Ripper and everything and and I just for some reason it something happened and it just hit me. And I thought about Three's Company. You ever watch Three's Company back in the day? Yes. Three's yeah. Company. John Ritter. With John Ritter. What was John Ritter's character name? Jack. Jack what? Jack Ripper. Nope. Jack Tripper. Jack Tripper. Oh. Jack Tripper. Who, who was Hold Ro on. Hold Roper? On. Roper was, was the landlord. Oh, okay. All right. John so Ritter. Was Tripper. John Ritter. Jack his Tripper. character in Three's Company was Jack Tripper. If you take um, Jack and you take the T... As a abbreviation for the is Jack T Ripper. Now, so I thought about that. I was like, "Well, come on! They wouldn't just come up with this name, Jack Tripper, that sounds like Jack the Ripper, and put it together." So I looked it up on Reddit. There's a guy who had the same idea that I had, but he had some more information to go along with it. He says, "Put this together. Jack's occupation is a chef. Access to knives, basic knowledge of butchering, suspicious defensive wounds can easily be explained away as kitchen accidents are common." Blood stains on clothing would become routine. Late nights, early mornings, and excellent times to dispose of human <laughs> remains and evidence. Not uncommon for hours for a chef. Jack Tripper is a chef. Uh, Jack, How about that? Jack is adept at lying. Now, we're talking about Jack Tripper. Yeah. His, his uh, comfortable yet aff uh, affordable Santa Monica apartment hinges on the daily ruse that he's gay. Pretending that Jack Tripper is gay. To... This is all a ruse. He balances tricking his downstairs landlords into thinking he's gay while uh, keeping up a very active heterosexual behavior, uh, bachelor lifestyle, betting at least at least attempting to a uh, different woman each week. Watch the show. He's always trying. He, there's He's always. I, I don't. <laughs> Thor's company, he was really pretending to be gay. Yes. Which I, mean, I knew he wasn't gay, but I, well, I never got that he pretended right. and as, to be gay to the and as a kid, landlord. As a kid watching the show, I never thought about him being uh, a gay guy or I, it, I never not, not even registering. I've never, but, never I, heard of this show. But then, start, company? but then here's another one. His roommates are eager and loyal accomplices to lie about Jack's whereabouts on any given night. They are willing, willingly uh, complicit and motivated to keep their rent down. As far as they know, it's just covering to help Jack maintain a healthy dating life. Huh. That's clever. <laughs> and this is on Reddit. And I'll, uh, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, who this was uh, who? on Reddit by somebody named uh, Smudge Dread. So I looked it up and, and I, I like these uh, <laughs> these ideas that he came up with. I thought was pretty good because, yeah, so Jack Tripper is pretending to be a gay guy, but he's really Jack T. Ripper. <laughs> That, that's something, and man. he's putting on this I, ruse, I never thought and he's got that. accomplices. I got to see this. <laughs> so, anyway, something to think about because I, I, when I thought about this, I was like, "Come on, there's, there's no way they would." I mean, that, that's pretty cool. There's no too. way that Hollywood would come up with a TV show and say, and when, when they come up with these names, and they say, "Well, what are we going to name this guy?" They could name him anything. <clears throat> they came up with well, Jack Tripper, which I, could be Jack T. Ripper. So, I, actually, you know that they 
they think that the name Jack the Ripper came from the news media. Huh? Uh, explain that. that. It wasn't. It, it wasn't actual. Yeah, uh, murder. Who who wrote the letters? They they think that the media. Or well, I say they think. I, there's conspiracies out there who who say that the name came from the media in order to sell more newspapers. Oh, well, well, and which when well when, you see that now though, like they'll immediately when something happens, they immediately come up with a, a come, that was a going catchy, on back then too. Back, even back when, then, yeah, and even when I worked in TV, when, we would do it locally. If something happens, it would there's when, something. When Jack the Ripper, when, when it was happening, when the name Jack the Ripper came out, the London Times and all all those newspapers, there's two or three of them from that area, started selling, I mean, abundance of newspapers. I mean, daily. You <laughs> they know, make that they, money. Yeah. Record, record number of sales. But they actually... Hold on. The, my, they, t- my turkey's in the oven. My, <laughs> the time. I just can't go. No, but, but I mean, that, that, that's what I, I I read that. I don't know. It could be a conspiracy theory, but that the the news media came up with the name Jack the Ripper. It wasn't actually him well, in the somebody letter saying had that. had to come up with it. He didn't come up. He didn't say, hey, Jack the Ripper well, no. was here. Well, well, definitely th- not. He a, didn't say he th- was there. There was a all. letter that was sent to a news organization I didn't read on I saw where it led that, I that had at the end it said um, Jack Tripper <laughs> <laughs> no it said Jack the Ripper but there are people speculating that that was put in there by the media Okay, that it wasn't actually him saying that Jack the Ripper just to I mean, because that, that name sounds menacing other than just having John yeah, Doe. yeah, I did this. Hey, I'm Johnny. John, you know? John so, Doe. Yeah, that's yeah. a very interesting. It's like Jack in, in, the Ripper. You know, Something that sounds menacing. Yeah, that's why I'm saying very intimidating name. Like yours yeah. would be Scott the Menace. <laughs> Scott the Menace. <laughs> Scott the Menace. There, there's already been a Dennis. Yeah, that's so <laughs> Scott the Menace. You can't do that. No. Yeah. What well, What would Scott's uh, uh, scary serial oh, murderer let's see name here. be? Let's see. Let me see. Scott the Scorcher. No, no, no. no, that, no, no. You know, no that sounded, okay, that sounded better in my head anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would. I don't think I would scorch people. So what would you do? No, well, let's what, not let's I, not go I, there. I, what was your finish? No, no, no. no. I'm hold not on. a serial no, killer. No, before so. let's not say that at all because if something happens and somebody else does it, they're gonna look at this show and go, <laughs> "Well, Scott said he would do it." <laughs> so let's not do that. Yeah. Well, let's never mind. We'll just yeah. yeah let's anyway. we'll stick. That's almost like uh, we can say our like our, our what our wrestling names would be <laughs> in the previous episode. Let's not say what our serial Scott. killer names would be. <laughs> Scott the Neanderthal. The Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mal, you did. Whatever a Neanderthal is. Yeah. <laughs>